Are there any questions real quick? <coughs> yes, Ken. Is our objective to just like be a... Uh, do, do we really want to see the first thing that comes to mind? Maybe not the first thing that comes to mind, but um, yeah, just your honest opinion. I'll be asking you questions okay. um, about pizza tonight. So how you feel about it, what it makes you think of, just really some general questions about pizza. Okay. All right. Um, okay, so first, at the very top, could you guys all write your names? Okay, and just for my sake, can I get your guys' names in order? Kendra. Kendra. Mark. Mark. Ethan. Ethan. Amy Sharid my first name. Amy Sharid. Amy Sharid. Sharid. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nate. Yes. Kent. Yes. James. Excellent. <laughs> All right. Um, so I guess first, why don't Okay, um, so we've chosen you because your opinion is very insightful and um, we want, we're trying to help somebody, someone's company be better and we'll get to that a little bit later. Um, and we know that since you guys are college students, you guys are helping to be experts on this, on this topic. So we want you to share your opinions, um, share what you really think. Do you have a question? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. You have a question? I have a question. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, sorry. How many questions are there? There are in total 20 questions. I don't know if we'll get to them all, so I might end up skipping one. It's 6.10 right now. Okay. Okay, so, all right. So we give you a pen and paper. Go ahead and write your names. And so for number one, the first question that I have for you guys, uh, what are the first three words that come into your mind when I say pizza? And uh, obviously, don't write the word pizza. First three words. Just write that down. Kendra? Yeah. Okay. What did you write down? Cheesy, delicious, savory. Okay, so I kind of gathered that maybe you like pizza? Yes. All right. What did you write down? Yeah, kind of along the same lines. I wrote cheese. Okay. Um, Domino's? I don't know if that was allowed, yeah. but that's what I think of when yeah. I think of pizza. <laughs> <Very> <laughs> so I was like, oh, <laughs> And kind of like her like happiness. Okay. I like pizza. All right, Ethan? Uh, pepperoni, cheese, and pizza, huh? Okay. So you broke a rule. Yeah. All right. I broke a rule. Then there's no rule breaking here, Mark. Neo, delicious, circle. Uh, circle. Circle. Which is circle? <laughs> oh, because it's round. <laughs> there you go. Gotcha. <laughs> like it. All right, James. Pepperoni, Hawaiian, and delicious. All right. I said pepperoni, cheese, yummy. I put food, pepperoni, and soda. Okay. So, why soda? Because you really can have pizza without soda, specifically root beer. Okay, so specifically root beer. Yeah. You like to have root beer with, with your pizza. Yeah. All right, and a lot of you guys wrote either cheese or pepperoni. Is that like kind of the first, when you think of pizza, is that the first flavor or the first type that comes to the mind? It's yeah. first I think so. Okay, yeah. first I think it's because it's so, it's a classic, it's the most common. Okay. Pepperoni pizza. Cheese. Okay. It's cheese. <laughs> cheese. All right, number two that you'll write down. <clears throat> what is your earliest childhood memory of pizza? The very first thing, or maybe like the youngest you can think of. I might not call on everybody for every question, just for the sake of time. But if you still would like your input. Uh, Nate, you want to go for this one first? Yeah, so I can't really think of like a specific memory, but I remember it was like, it was a family tree when we got pizza. Okay. It was a reward or like, let's have a fun time, so we got pizza. So what kind of reward? What, like for being good? Maybe like family home evening. Okay. Or mom was like, what do you guys want? We're like, pizza! Okay, so pizza was kind of the family like a family treat, I guess? Yeah. Okay. 
James, what did you write? Going to Abby's Pizza after a soccer game. Okay. And playing Super Mario Bros. in the arcade. <laughs> while I <cooked>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. So is that like a pizza buffet? What kind of pizza place is Abby's Pizza? Um, it's, it's just a pizza place. You go there, you order pizza, and they cook it while you just do whatever. And they help. They hold a lot of sporting event stuff there. So most people, like after a soccer game win or something, okay, they go there. So gotcha. Um, Ethan, what did you play? <clears throat> uh, it was when my family was watching a movie. I don't remember the, the movie, but uh, we ordered pizza, and I tried Coca Cola for the first time, and it was disgusting. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you still think that? Yeah, it's not at all. Oh, so now you like Coca-Cola? Now I like Coca-Cola. Okay. And by the way, the Coke was disgusting out of pizza? The Coca-Cola, yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Um, Kendra, what did you put? Um, well, I put down that I remember having like some homemade little English muffin pizzas as a young child. Okay. We really didn't go out to pizza, get pizza that often, but we do homemade pizzas like that all the time. Okay. Um, why do you think you didn't go out to get pizza back then? Price thing. I always thought as a child it was probably a price thing, but now that I think about it, I think it might have just been an availability. There probably wasn't a, weren't as many pizza places as there are now. Yeah. So when I was a kid. Yeah. Okay. Um, we'll go ahead and go to the next question, unless three of you had a very significant childhood memory. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, on a scale of one to ten, how much do you like eating pizza? Another question. <laughs> 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 scale of one to ten, Bob. Raise your hand. And then for the same question, go ahead and write um, your favorite kind of pizza. So, Amy Sheree, Amy, on a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you like eating pizza? 10. 10? Ten? Yeah. 10. 10? 9. 9. 9. 8. 10. 10. Okay. So, James, why, is an 8 still pretty high for you? An 8, I do, I love pizza. But there's, but it's like not the healthiest, so that's the only reason. Oh, you're health free. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And starting with James, what's your favorite kind of pizza? What'd you put? Hawaiian. Pepperoni. I did chicken bacon stuffed. Papa Murphy's has it. Mm. <laughs> chicken bacon stuffed. I did a cowboy pizza for Papa Murphy's. So that was like an all meat. Okay. Mm. Pepperoni. Hawaiian. Hawaiian. Buffalo chicken. Buffalo chicken. What mm -hmm. places have buffalo chicken? Oh, like um, Pizza Pie Cafe. Okay. That's a really good one. Her, my husband and I make a really good one at home. Mm -hmm. It's just as well. Okay. Um, what is... All right, this will be... Uh, yeah, still on number three, so just kind of right to the side of it. Um, what kind of crust do you like on pizza? I know if you guys know any of the different kinds of crusts. Um, and also, same question, uh, what is the worst part of the pizza? So is that our, did you say our favorite crust, or just yeah. different kinds of crust? Yeah, favorite kind of crust. What is your favorite crust, if you were to? It's just bread. So sometimes they feel like cheese, sometimes it's like seasoned. So like what's the worst part of pizza? Yeah, what's your like your least favorite part of the pizza to eat? We'll just do a couple of the crust ones. So Ames, what did you put for crust? Yeah, I like the pan style. Okay. Where it's a little bit more thicker on the bread. Yeah. Yeah. And um, what's the least favorite? I don't part? like the grease excess when it like has a lot of grease on, like even on top, okay. and, like you can see it. Okay. That's gross. Oh, that's, that's good. Good. And Ethan, you, yeah, yeah. So stuffed crust is my favorite. Stuffed crust, yeah, by far. Um, 
I'd have to agree with Amy Street. Did but you have something before as well that you had written down? I was going to say, there is no bad part. That's actually, you can't think of a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone else have a different bad part of the pizza? Ken? Um, I'm sure other people would think this, but like, sometimes the crust is bland. And it's just like, just like you're eating boring bread. Okay. You get the crust. That's why some people don't eat the crust. So what makes I like the crust, <laughs> but sometimes we get a crust I don't like. So what makes crust bad? Um, like, stamped. Like, I don't like Little Caesars crust very much. Okay. But I like other places crusts a lot. And I always eat the crust because I mean, do you eat Little, little Caesars, Caesars crust? Huh? Do you eat Little Caesars crust? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's why I get the sauces with it, so I can dip it. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, did anyone else have anything else they didn't like about the pizza, Nate? I mean, I put some kinds of tomato sauce I don't like, so it's not like a specific thing. Really like for that. But I feel like some pizzas that the tomato sauce is just like either really runny, it's not cooked all the way, or something. Okay. Okay. So, gotcha. so maybe too much sauce or. Too much. Just raw, just taste funky. Water. Taste funky. Okay. All right. Anyone else have anything they don't like about pizza? Besides grease, runny sauce, or stale crust? I thought of one. Yeah. I, so with, um, a lot with like the chicken bacon type, they put a lot of like ranch dressing. Yeah. I don't like them. They'll put a lot on. So you don't like too much. Or you don't like it at all. I don't like too much. Okay. All right. So go to number four, how would you, or sorry, why would you be hesitant to order pizza or get pizza? Is there, is there ever a time that you don't like pizza? just thought of like a couple of things like I don't want to order pizza if I'm not craving it if I've had too much recently or it's just really expensive okay if it's a pizza that I want that is more expensive I should say is there a certain time when you've had too much yeah lately I guess yes. time of the year <laughs> uh, I think it was like two back-to-back -back board activities okay and date night so yeah it was like pizza like Three days within like a week. <laughs> okay. And it felt like a lot. Ames? Yeah, that's about kind of the same thing I said. Like if I'm not that hungry or have it a lot lately. Um, but mostly the big thing that came up to me was too expensive for what I want. Like if I could think, like if I want a specialty pizza, then that's different. Price is a little bit different. But if it's just mm -hmm. pepperoni and I know I can get it for cheaper somewhere else, that I don't think it's that much different of a difference that okay. I'm willing to pay for the cheaper price. Like, I'm not willing to pay for it. Gotcha. If that makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I put, so along with those two, I also put when I'm feeling sick. Mm -hmm. um, but that's yeah, one of the last six I want to do. Okay. <laughs> or eggs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mark? Uh, just the, uh, when they cook too, too little time and just starving. Okay. Just stuff like that. So. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. James? I said just cost, um, specifically like if the cost of the pizza doesn't match the quality of the pizza. Okay. So I, I want to feel like I'm getting what I'm paying for. If I am, then like, hey, I'll pay whatever. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But if it's like a bad pizza for a high price, I'm like, nah. Okay. So. Gotcha. And Ken, what did you put? Um, I get heartburn a lot when I eat pizza. Yeah. And so I love eating it, but I still get heartburn. So <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I'm just like. I don't have any tongues. Like, <laughs> 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 All right, Nate. I put budget, or I've had it like more than three times in the past week. Like I can have it multiple times in a week, but once it comes like three or four, and then it's like maybe it's whole. Okay, so three or four times a week is kind of your max. Yeah. All right. Um. Okay, so going off of price, like James kind of got us into, um, how much would you pay for a large? And I know large kind of varies based on where you are, but how much would you? Um, Normally, want expect to pay for a large one topping pizza. That'd be like Little Caesars large size. Just just your your best judgment of large. Yeah, that's pretty good. So do one topping and then two topping and then three topping. Is and this number max you would pay for? Yes, it's five. Just how much would you expect to pay? Okay. One, two, three, two. Like 
expect to not want to pay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to expect. I mean, not very much stuff in this world is free, so. How? So large one topping, two topping, three topping. Starting with Nate, just go ahead and tell me the three prices. Um, six, eight, ten. Okay. Seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight. Four, six, eight. Four, six, eight. Okay. Well, I like to press it. Uh, eight, eleven, and fifteen. He's in that papa job. Seven or six, seven, nine. Okay. I don't know. It must be the pizza place I'm thinking of. Fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. Wow. I was thinking of papa jobs. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, okay. So I'm going to write. I'm going to. What way back come from? I'm going to write the some of the main pizza places in Rexburg on the board, and I want you to rank them. This is this will be number. What is it? Eight, nine, six. All right. We're on number six. Well, you put like three questions into three. Okay. Calm down. Calm down. We call. You might be on like twelve. Yeah. I am. You need to take a time. Okay, Papa Murphy's, <coughs> Domino's. Papa Domino's have a key. Yeah, So I have a question. Is this like price to taste or ignoring <laughs> price and just going for taste? <laughs> or ignoring taste and just going for price? Um, that's a good question. Did you get a ton of pizza for a lot at Pizza Pie Cafe, all you need? That is very true. Okay. Um, let's go... You know what? Oh, sorry. Okay. We'll just skip nine. Forgot about that one. Alright. Pizza Pie Cafe. Just a second. Caesars and Pizza Hut. <laughs> okay, so going off of this B6, um, go ahead and rate the top three. So one, two, and three based off of quantity or how much you would get for the money you pay. Quantity, not quality. Right. Just so the top three, right? Okay, and then um, for that, right next to it, go ahead and rate the top three, one, two, three, based off of um, quality, pizza quality. And then for number seven, for number seven, go ahead and rank um, all six in the order of the places that you visit the most. So number one, you, you go there the most. Number six, you visit the least. Just your best guess. So the second one is quality, right? Yep. Okay, just the first one. Right. And the third one was? Rank all six of uh, how often uh, you visit each one. So that one is how often? Like which do you go to most?
Alright, you guys got them all? Just about? Do a little bit more time? I need like 30 seconds. Alright, so the first one was. So, the first one is like price based. So basically, which one do you feel like you get the most for your money? Yeah. Second one um, was quality. So if price wasn't a, a factor. Alright, Kendra, do you want to go ahead and start? Um, so what were your top three based off of price? Uh, for price, I said pizza pie, Papa Murphy's, and Domino's. Okay. And based off price? Based off of price. Ames. So we're talking quantity, the first one? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, pizza pie, Papa Murphy, and Domino's. Okay. It's a pizza pie, Little Caesars, and Domino's. All right, Mark? Pizza pie, pizza hot, and Domino's. Okay, James? Pizza pie, Little Caesars, and Papa Murphy. Okay. Little Caesars, Pizza Pie, Domino's. Okay. Pizza Pie, Papa Murphy's, Little Caesars. Okay, so Ken, I think you're the only one that didn't put Pizza Pie as number one, is that right? Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. So what makes you, <laughs> why do you feel like you get more value out of Little Caesars than you do out of Pizza Pie? Because Can't for five dollars I get two meals at Little Caesars. Okay. Whereas like eight dollars will get me one meal at a Pizza Pie Cafe. Okay. I just did that. So, do you think you could eat more than eight slices? At Pizza Pie? I probably could, but then I'd feel like... <laughs> <laughs> Not worth it? Okay. Alright, so... Um, now for the second second question, which was quality. Top three, Nate. Papa John's, Papa Murphy's, Pizza Hut. Okay? Okay. Papa John's, Domino's, Pizza Hut. James? Domino's, Papa Murphy's, Pizza Hut. Okay. Mark? Pizza Hut, Domino's, Papa Murphy's. Pizza Hut, Papa John's, and Papa Murphy's. Okay. Said Papa Murphy's, Domino's, Pizza Hut. Papa John's, Papa Murphy's, Pizza Pie. Okay. So were you the only one that had Pizza Pie Cafe on your top three for quality? Yeah, it's pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. So is that because of the buffalo chicken pizza, or are there other reasons? I love their Oreo pizza. Okay, all <laughs> their Oreo pizza. <laughs> pizza. <laughs> they have really good dessert pizzas. There's, right. not, there's really no other place that has really good dessert pizzas. And everyone else is pretty varied, but I think I heard a lot of Papa's. <laughs> <laughs> so either Papa John's or uh, Papa Murphy's. Um, okay. And okay, lastly, so for the six, um, just the ones that you visit the most, go ahead and give me your top two, okay, starting with Kendra. Little Caesars and Domino's. A little Caesars first and Domino's second, okay. Domino's and Papa Murphy's. Okay. Uh, little Caesars and Domino's. Pizza Hut and Domino's. James? Little Caesars and Pizza Pie. A little Caesars and Domino's. Little Caesars, Papa Murphy's. Okay, so a majority of you visit Little Caesars the most. Why is that? It's cheap. It's really it's cheap. Cheap. It's fast. It's Two super meals. fast. Okay, really fast? Oh, yeah. Are I've all Little Caesars like that? Or just, just this one? Unless there's like a huge it. line out the door, because okay. then I drive by. And right. go to the top. That was horrible. Gotcha. So Little Caesars is fast. And it's cheap. And cheap. Anything to do with location or if Little Not Caesars was past Walmart, like just maybe just in the Walmart parking lot, would you still go there? I think there'd be a smaller line, so probably. <laughs> okay. <so laughs> yeah. It'd be like nice walk in there bigger. This little Caesar? Yeah. That way when you when there are really long lines, you're not well out the door, okay. awkwardly trying to hold open the door. Mm -hmm. Alright, so the um, company that we're actually doing research for um, is actually Pizza Pie Cafe. And so now I'm going to ask you some questions specifically about Pizza Pie Cafe and their pizza. Um, we've mentioned them before, or we've had some of you guys mention their pizzas, or um, all, pretty much all of you had Pizza Pie Cafe is the most, you get the most value. Um, so first question, I guess, tell me a little bit about Pizza Pie Cafe. When you think of little pe uh, Pizza Pie Cafe, what do you think of? What are some of the first things that come to mind? Variety. Write these yeah, things down. Variety. 
Oh wait, yeah, go ahead and write it down. Oh. Don't write it down. Remember this. What's that? So wait, is this question six. number seven then? Yeah, this is number eight. Uh, oh, wait, seven, eight? Eight, because six was two part and right, seven three was parts. one. Are, oh, I okay, go ahead. It doesn't matter the number. Really. <laughs> 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 right, okay, you want everyone write number ten for this question. Okay. 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 Everybody we, write a big ten. Like this will be number ten. <laughs> that way, we can when we look at your papers, we can kind of keep track. <laughs> Sorry about that. We just write one thing or multiple. Just a couple. Just multiple things. So and this is just when I think of Pizza Pie Cafe. Not yeah, just pizza pie. Or, yeah. Right. Their just pizza. The establishment. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Ames, what did you put? Um, I put buffet, and then I actually put a pizza pie cafe for their salad bar. Okay. They have a really good amount of different toppings, and I really like the choices they have for their salad bar and okay. dessert pizza. Dessert pizza and salad. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> pizza. Uh, James, what did you put? I said buffet, a variety, and dessert pizzas. Okay. Nate. I said variety, buffet, salad, pasta, and like a group hangout place. Group hangout. All right. Kendra. Well, I said variety because they have like, you know, pasta, salad, pizza, and then various flavors of everything, and a uh, warm environment and delicious. Okay. And Mark, what did you put? All you can eat and far from school. What was the first one? All you can eat. All you can eat. Okay. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Good thing. Okay. <laughs> so did you guys mostly write? Did you mostly write positive things? Did anybody write anything negative? Well, I did. Okay. What was it? I put down crowds, but it could just be because every time I go, there's a lot of people. Okay. I feel like. What time? time what time of day is that? It's usually like nine, eight or nine o'clock. Okay. okay. All right. So number eleven. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate the, the regular pizzas? So not the dessert pizzas, just the regular pizzas at Pizza Pie Cafe. And then right next, next to that number is a comma. How would you rate the dessert pizzas on a scale of 1 to 10? So this is all number 11. This is all taste, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, James, go ahead and give me both numbers. Seven and seven. Mark? Seven and nine. Ethan, do you have yours yet? Yep. Eight and ten. Okay. Ten for the dessert pizzas? Seven, yep. Okay. Seven and ten. Ames? Seven and eight. And Nate? Seven and question mark. I haven't tried the dessert pizzas. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Kendra? Go to nine the pizza. And nine. nine and nine. Okay, so a lot of you like the dessert pizzas a little bit more. Um, when you're there, do you generally have more dessert pizza or more regular pizza? Does it depend? Do you guys specifically save room, maybe? What? Do we write it down? No, just, oh. just oh. for those of you that have had dessert pizza. I eat more regular pizza than the okay. dessert pizza. I'm not really a fan of the dessert pizza. It's not that it's not good, I just don't like dessert pizza. Okay. I'd much rather eat. I always fill up on the regular pizzas first, but I always make sure that I save room to at least try the dessert pizzas. Like even if I'm like about to puke, okay. I'll still eat the dessert pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Mark? Um, I don't know. I love dessert pizza because I'm not no dessert pizza fan. I haven't tried this before. So there's no dessert pizza in Taiwan. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, uh, number 12, how often do you eat at Pizza Pie Cafe? And this is when you're at school, so I don't really count your, your off track, but... Is this like or monthly, yearly? Could sometime, for someone it might be monthly, yearly, weekly, daily? <laughs> <laughs> a couple of times a month, depends. <clears throat> what number did I say that was, 12? 12. Okay, for 13, go ahead and write... On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate the customer service at Pizza Pie Cafe? Take your plates, right? And then 
and then 14 on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate the overall value of Pizza Pie Cafe? Um, how much do you get out of it based yeah. off how much you put into it? Okay. Yeah. Is it worth the price? Yeah. So that's on a scale of 1 to 10 again. Okay. okay. Mark Hoff and you eat at Pizza Pie Cafe. This was number 12. One uh, half year. Once every half year? Okay. <laughs> James? I went there once. <laughs> once. But I liked it. I go to one to two times per semester, so three to six times a year. Okay. Ethan? Uh, once every three months. Alright. Nate? Once like once a semester. Yeah, about the same once or twice a semester. Okay. I'm here year round, so I said five to seven times a year. Okay. Different things. And go ahead and give me your two numbers for 13 and 14 on a scale of 1 to 10. So first customer service and then value. Sorry, Kendra. Uh, 10 and 9. Okay. And 9 and 8. All right. 8 and a half. 8 and 8. 7 and 8. 7 and 7. 10 and 8. Okay. Good. Um, <laughs> all right, number 15, including the entire menu, what is your favorite item? Uh, food item at Pizza Pie Cafe. Mm. Everything on the menu. <laughs> what do you go there for? There was just one thing. Nathan, what did you put? Um, it's the pizza with bacon on it. No clue. It's bacon and some other stuff. Okay, like sausage and chicken, but the one thing I think it's still Billy. Pretty sure. Um, Ames? Yeah, so are we talking about pizza? Because I go for the salad bar. Anything, yeah. Because that's what I go for. Okay, so the salad. salad. What kind of dressing do you put on? Uh, blue cheese. Okay. Got a really good blue cheese dressing. Mm -hmm. And Ethan? That's why I go uh, Cinnamon pizza. Cinnamon pizza. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, I said the pasta nice. dipping sauce for the crust. The pasta dipping sauce. That's like sauce. the only reason I go, but it's my favorite part of wanting to go. All right. <laughs> James? It's been a while, so I can't remember any specific types of pizzas, but I liked everything I had. And it's a buffet, so it's unlimited pizza. So <laughs> that's my favorite part. All right. Mark? Salad. Salad. And Kendra? Oreo pizza. Oreo pizza. OK. Um, number 16, how many pieces, including dessert of pizza, how many pieces of pizza do you generally eat per visit? Uh, this will probably vary a lot by person, but... That's how much soda I have James, what did you put? Like, I'd say on a hungry day, maybe like 15 slices. <laughs> <laughs> they are smaller, so. Yeah. I, said, <laughs> I said five. Because <laughs> I always do pasta and pasta, pasta and salad. salad. Okay. Yeah, and so, James, do you not get pasta or salad? Or? Um, I do. You so, that would, that would probably actually change my answer tomorrow. Okay, I did a range eight to twelve. Okay. And does that kind of depend or sorry, for those of you that had yeah, for anybody, did you um is that if you were only to eat pizza, or is that including the salad? That's including salad. Includes salad. And okay, soda. and pasta? Yeah. Including, including pasta. I never eat a little bit of pasta. Never okay. Drinks? Yeah. Yeah. And drinks. Yeah, yeah, and oh, drinks. Yeah. And drinks. Yeah. Okay. I have pizza without soda. Yeah. Yeah. I have soda. All right. How do you... This is number uh, 17. So just write some general things. You could turn your paper over, by the way, if you're running out of room. Um, but how do you make your decision for what slices of pizza you grab? What factors?
factors do you look for? Try some general things. Kendra, you want to tell me a little bit about what you put? Um, part of two of my questions kind of focus on like how long has it been out? Is it pretty fresh? And then if it's a pizza I particularly like, is it a really big slice? Okay. So do you go for the big slices or the small um, pieces? It depends on what it is. If I'm trying to do flavor, I go for a smaller slice or if I don't have much room. But if it's like one of my favorite ones, like an Oreo pizza, then I like to look for a really big slice. Big if it's slice. if it's like in front or whatever. But okay. if it's not then Still gonna grab it. Gotcha. Um, I look more for their specialty pizzas. They like with the most toppings, something new. I don't. I don't think I've ever grabbed like pepperoni while I was there. You know, something basic That's I true. can get pretty much everywhere else. Okay. Ethan, uh, if it's got meat, pepperoni and cheese, and bacon is a big one. Uh, another one is if it's sitting alone on a tray. Skip over it and then I come back for the one because it's more fresh if it's all together. Yeah. Uh, and then I usually go for bigger, like if it's a bigger piece. Yeah, I honestly don't because I'm not a picky eater, eater so if I, I, it doesn't matter what kind of pizza it is if it's a bigger piece. Okay. Mark, what do you look for or what? How do you choose what what kind of pizza to grab? Um, it is quick and a lot of slice, slices. Okay. So you grab, did you pile up your first plate then with a, with a ton of slices of pizza pie? Yeah. Okay. James? Um, if it looks unique, uh, kind of like what you said, pepperoni, it can get anywhere. But when I see a, a pizza that has like bacon and potatoes on it, I'm like, I have to try that. Mm -hmm. um, and then if it has some of my favorite foods on it, so like, you know, again, bacon or things that I like alone, being on a pizza just makes it that much better. Okay. So are there, so what you said before, if there is a unique pizza that maybe other pizza places don't offer, yeah, or that it, looks kind of unique, you would grab those? Yeah, and it does help to like look good too. Okay. But yeah, if it's definitely new, unique, it, it makes that pizza place definitely stand out. Okay. Ken? Uh, me also with the, uh, um, Pepperoni, I'm like, no, I'm not going to get pepperoni, get that anymore. So I like to get the variety. Um, if I haven't tried it before, I want to try it. Also, if somebody else at my table that I'm with said it was good, they're like, oh, Ken, did you get the Oreo pizza? And I'm always like, they have Oreo pizza? <laughs> and so I'm like, I go and get it because they say it's good. Okay. Kind of going with what other people said, I think, uh, the ones that are just barely been brought out because it's more fresh and hot. But I feel like... Um, sometimes it's also the ease of access. Like, I think there's some pizzas in the back that are harder to, to get. Oh, okay. And I've seen like some other guy like trying to pick up the pizza and he's taking forever. So I don't want to look like an idiot, so I just skip over that one. <laughs> <laughs> like, like sometimes they didn't cut it well enough, so I don't want to reach up and like rip it off and hold onto another piece of pizza. So I just, if it's easy to, to get, I'll go for it. So, so you're a courteous buffet eater. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, okay. How many plates of pasta and or salad do you get at, while you're at Pizza Pie? Go ahead and write that number down. And then I think we should be on 19, right? Yeah. What is your biggest frustration, if any, with Pizza Pie Cafe that you've had before? Maybe a bad experience, maybe something they consistently do wrong. Number 20, what is the best time of day to be at Pizza Pie Cafe?
What was number 20 again? What is the best time of day to be at Pizza Pie Cafe? All right, so starting with 18, so how many plates of uh, pasta or, and or, so <coughs> like pasta and salad? Okay. One. Okay, one. And is it pasta or salad? Salad. Yeah, one salad. One salad? Point. Right. <laughs> um, salad or pasta? Mm. <laughs> one plate, then, so half a, like, half a plate of pasta and like half a plate of salad and like eight pieces of pizza. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. Mark? Four uh, bowls of pasta or salad? Yeah. Okay. Do you get more pasta and salad than pizza? No, it's just even. Okay. James? Um, one, maybe two plates of pasta and salad if I'm super hungry. Okay. And so maybe like one of each or are they both salad? Uh, usually like um, starting out with one plate with half, half pasta, half salad. Okay. And then just going from there if I'm hungry for more. Okay. Okay. I do one plate of each. Okay. Nate? Same. One plate of each? Okay. And biggest frustration, um, Ethan, was that the one you had? Yeah, I got a good right. one. Uh, oh, I think, <laughs> I think it, it's cramp. Um, most times when I go, we're always having to bring over chairs. So people are sitting on the ends into the aisle and you're sliding by people to not spill your drink, your plate of pizza. Um, so now that I look back on it, yeah, it is, it's a really small place. Okay, so do you, are you, think, are you think they need more bigger, more big tables or just more space in general? Um, yeah, bigger tables, like more seating. Okay. Bigger aisles. Okay. Because I would kind of feel like you're always in the way. Me? I put nothing I can think of at first, but I would agree with that. It is kind of cramped. Okay, and James? Uh, just just waiting for more pizzas to cook. Like okay. you got that pizza you want to try, but it's not out yet. Yeah. No. Do you ever have to, if there's that one pizza that has like one or two slices, do you ever feel like you have to wait for the next fresh um, pizza as well? Or? I'll eat other pizzas while I'm waiting, but I'll definitely make sure I get that okay. pizza that I want. Okay. That's one of my frustrations. I wrote it down. The other one was, this one time I came and there was nobody at the entrance. Like, there's still an hour till they closed, and we came, there was nobody to greet us. We're like, uh, we're gonna eat here or no. Okay, did you, how long did you have to wait? We, we, I just walked around until I found a server in the table. Oh, okay. Would be a server. Mark? Yeah. See you <laughs> now. No frustrations? <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, Ames? I uh, thought a couple of things. Uh, small plates is the first thing I thought of. Okay. I'm trying to understand why they do that, but still, like, and I think mostly it's because, I think that because it's crowded. With a small plate, when I'm reaching for something, I feel like it's gonna, everything's gonna fall off, and then I have no pizza. Well, I have to start over. That's annoying. So. And that's, I agree with that. Yeah. So I think that's my biggest frustration is that the small plate, but the small plate wouldn't be as big of a deal if I had more room. Okay. Yeah. All right. So what what part of the restaurant is more crowded? Where you're sitting, or that whole buffet area? I think all. Just well, not really. Yeah, because even when you go back to your seat, and sometimes there's not enough seats. Unless you have like that special booth. Yeah. And even those booths, I remember having a family, like our whole family was there and we were all like sitting on the table because there weren't seats. <laughs> you have those long booths and then like what if the person at the end has to get up? Then you all have to get up. <laughs> so. Yeah. I also feel a little bit, sorry I'm just full of complaints, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm really not from the sea guy. Uh, there, uh, what was I going to say? Table. Table. Oh, and maybe this is just personal preference, but I feel a little bit exposed, like not exposed, but there's not like a nifty design to the place. So you walk in and like you're looking back into where everybody's getting pizza. And so there's not like, there's kind of like the door and pizza and then you got to like split off into tiny booths. Okay. So I don't, I, it's, the design is a little bit odd. It's not interesting to go in and be in. 
Okay, so is it like the decorations or like the design, the layout of the building? The setup, yeah, the setup. Okay. This um, new building. <laughs> uh, Kendra, I haven't asked you yet, have I? No. Any frustrations? Um, the only thing I can really think of, although I did, I didn't, never thought of the little plates, that's a good one. But sometimes it's hard to find seating if they're really busy or you're kind of like looping around a bit or you walk all the way into, especially the booths sometimes, the little booths off to the right, it can be really, you can't tell if anyone's in there until you walk all the way down, then you find out something, then you gotta walk back, then you gotta walk all the way around yeah. to find something empty. And most times it's just um, me and my husband going, so it's, it feels kind of, I feel kind of bad sometimes taking a bigger booth with just the two of us, but sometimes that's the only that's seating available, so yeah. I, we take it, but then it, feels, it just feels kind of weird, you know, we need to take up this bigger booth one. A bigger group would probably want to sit there, but so we're sitting there. Yeah, maybe you wish there was like more of a someone to say, "Oh, here's the seats that are available." Instead, they just like, "Oh, go," and then you're like, "Where do I go?" So, <laughs> <would you prefer laughs> do I go to this side? Maybe someone will take it. By the time I go to the other side. Yeah. So, so would you prefer they have like a hostess that yeah. takes you to a table? Yeah. I would prefer that. Okay. So maybe That's part of it. Help navigate oh, traffic right. a little bit, where they get the smaller, like you know, the pairs or like groups of four to like the smaller tables, and then. That leaves the bigger booths more open. Where when they have the big group, they're like, "Oh, we've got big booths open that way." Yeah. Just kind of help direct a okay. little bit. Um, would it be worth? So if that were to increase wait time, having hostess um, kind of you know please wait to be seated type thing, um, would that be worth it still? I think so. I think yeah. it shows like upper level type of restaurant when you have someone. I mean, you go to Applebee's. Right. or something and they have like a venue and they're like okay we're going to place five people here or four people here and so when you have a when you have something when you see that operation going you think wow i'm in a really nice place like they are they're like professional yeah like they're ordering kind of where i'm going to go and stuff it just seems a little bit more not like a cafeteria okay oh it is like the the flip side is it is i also like that i get to pick my own seat so it's not like, okay, because sometimes you go to sit down place and it's like, okay, you have to sit here, but then I think like, well, there's empty tables there. I'd rather sit kind of more off to the side. Yeah, I say I'd rather sit there and I make them sit me. But, <laughs> <laughs> but that's, that's kind of where, it's not like a really big concern or whatever, but it, it has positives and negatives. Right, but I see what you're saying, yeah. Okay. So last... Last one was the best time of day to be at Pete's Pie Cafe. So, what are your thoughts on that, Nate? Did you put a time? I said between five to seven, but it's hit and miss with the crowd. So maybe not on a Friday, maybe on mm -hmm. Friday, or it's just I think that dinner time. Okay. Perfect. Ken, I said eight o'clock. Pia, James, any weeknight? It's more crowded on the weekends, so we go at night. You can fill up for the day. A little bit less people. Okay. Mark, just be at night. Six to seven p.m. Yeah, I said in between, like the dinner rush and late night, because sometimes then they have like a late night thing. Yeah. So I it's like seven to eight. Seven to eight. Okay. I said six to eight. Okay. All right. So, uh, um, are there any last thoughts about Pizza Pie Cafe? Any last opinions that uh, you'd like to share with us? Yeah, All right. Thanks. Thanks for your help. Um, I don't have anything else. Did you guys have anything? All right. Thanks for your help, you guys. And if you could get your papers back, that would be really helpful, too. Uh, did you get a second? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How do you uh, come about it? Uh, I did my internship down in Texas. Oh, okay. Yeah. We have a station up in Washington. Oh, yeah. Stay with my dad. Yeah. Okay. So, I'll stop recording like, oh, this. We got it. Like it. Pizza here for you guys. Okay. Yes. Payment for helping us out. Uh, we don't have. Like, yeah, we don't have pepperoni pizza here, right? Pepperoni and cheese. Come grab some slices. I don't know if we have any paper plates or not. I'll go look for you. Just spread it across. I don't want pizza. Pizza for you. Just spread it across the table. Is it all the same? Pizza pie. What is this? This is pizza pie. Pizza pie. Oh, well, it's a pizza pie. Oh, we just got cheese on Also, Pizza Pie gave us these coupons um, that you guys can take in. Sweet. Because I was like, so oh, you happen to have a buffet?
Cinnamon. Creep a face for life. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Oh, so we're being part of a one hour. Creep a face for life. Yeah, I'll be all up down with it. Heck yeah. That's right. Bounce back. Yeah, that's great. What's $5? Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Put that under my phone. It's only here. What's the tune? It's higher than the subject. It's higher than the subject. So, I think for the presentation, it's actually more funny for Korea. Oh. Oh. Well, what's that?